up we are back with another video back to back and in today's video i'm bringing you the other two babies from the vizier petites yes i already reviewed this two and i was missing perline and chocolate so if you're ready to see how i create this two stunning and beautiful looks guys because hello again keep on watching Praline, a chic confession of almond caramel and cream shades. Shades from top to bottom. Sugary, a warm brown with a shimmer finish. Caramelize, warm champagne with a shimmer finish. Praline, antique gold with a shimmer finish. Pecan, sienna brown with a matte finish. Chocolate, a decadently rich melange of cocoa and honeycomb husk. Shades from top to bottom. Cafe cream, terracotta nude with a matte finish. Peaches, rose gold nude with a shimmer finish. Orange sanagi, orange copper with a gold reflectivity. Ganache, milk chocolate brown with a matte finish. Okay guys, so are we ready? Are we ready? Are we freaking ready to play with this beauty right here? This one is a Perline. I think that's how you pronounce the name. Guy, okay, in this quad we have three satins and one matte guys. This one is the only matte that we have in this little baby. Okay. So now, what I want to do is, I'm going to be grabbing this shade right here, and I want to see how does that shade looks in my whole entire crease as a transition color. Let's see that. BK Beauty 201, we're going to dig in this first shade right here. No fallout, guys. And whatever I have left on my brush, I'm going to bring it into my crease. It looks really nice actually so yep even though you're only getting one matte in this palette you can still use the shimmer as a transition color it looks super pretty guys ref 01 we're gonna grab this lighter shimmery shade right here that one they have a little tiny bit of fallout so be careful let me go slow my brush is a dry of course we're gonna be wood in the brush and we're gonna be putting the shade in the inner part of my eye so now after showing you how this shade right here looks completely dry this is a i am gonna be wetting my ref 01 with a little bit of this setting spray from hourglass where's the thing I just love how when you wet your brush, the shimmers are just more creamy and just so much easier to work with. Guys, I'm going to be flipping my brush and of course, I'm going to go in the next shimmery shade that we have right here. This one. You know the drill. First, I'm going to show you dry and then I'm going to wet the brush. And I'm going to place this right here on the outer part of my eye more like in the outer center of my lid but i'm not bringing this shimmery shade all the way into my outer v i'm going a little bit on top of the light shimmery shade same shade and that's that guys booming in your face so pretty right with my BK Beauty 207 into this brownish mustardy matte that we have right here any little pencil brush will do the job and I'm just gonna be tapping this right here on my outer V just like this 
So that is what we have uh, so far. We have all the shades of right here on my eye. And then I'm gonna be grabbing my BK Beauty blending brush or whatever you wanna grab with no shadow on it. And I'm just gonna use it just to blend everything out a little bit right here by my brow bone. I don't wanna bring the brownish into the inner part of my eye. Perfect, guys. I'm beautiful. So now with my flat defender from Sonia G, I'm going into the brown and I'm gonna apply that shade in my whole entire lower lash. With my inner corner brush from Sigma, I'm going to be grabbing the lighter shade and I'm gonna place a little bit more on my inner corner. These shades, guys, they really don't need no help. But I'm using the inner corner brush and I am gonna wet it a little bit because I need the shadow to kind of stick on the brush because I'm gonna be putting the lighter shade in the middle of my lower lash just to kind of give it a little pop right here, right on the center of my lower lash. Okay guys, so this is the first look using Perlene and this. It is so stunning guys, like, uh, it's just making my eyes pop, oh my god, this is some shades that they're gonna look good on everybody and their mothers. So now let me just go and continue with the second look with the chocolate palette. Just notice something, the design for the chocolate it is different like this one it is completely solid and this one have like some little like i don't know like prints i'm not sure we're gonna be able to see it yeah you see it see how pretty it's the only one that looks different guys you see how this one right here is solid and then you see the little prints on the chocolate in case you didn't peep that so let's throop, open up this baby. Oh, I love this shade right here, guys. Oh, BK God. Beauty 201. I'm gonna start with this shade right here. And this one, we have two mattes, this one and this one, and two shimmery shades. So starting from this one, I'm gonna just use this shade as my transition color. I'm gonna pop it in my whole crease. BK Beauty 201. I'm digging in this coppery matte shade. That is so unique, that shade right there. And these two shades, they look similar, but one of them is matte and the other one is shimmery. And I am freaking living for this eye look. The reflection that I'm getting, it is giving me joy. So I'm gonna be using the shade and I'm gonna just start right here on my outer V. Whatever's left on my brush, I'm gonna start bringing it on my crease. Now I'm grabbing a little more precise brush. So I'm going with my mini blender from Sonia G into the same shade that I was just using. And I'm gonna pop the shade right on my crease, guys. Starting right here from outer V, right on my crease. Regular blending brush from Sonia G, same shade. And I'm packing my brush right here on my outer V. You can really create so many looks, guys, if you really think about it with this little palette. Another look that will be stunning will be pop this little brown in your outer V, in your inner corner, connect them, grab a little bit of shadow from each side to connect it with the other one, and pop whatever of these two shimmers in the center of your leg, and you're going to be popping, sis, for sure. So with my Ref01, guys, I'm going to grab this shade and I'm gonna be popping that shade in my whole lid. That is how it looks dry. I wanna see how it looks with the finger. Let me grab a little bit more. The texture of this one shade, it does feel a little different than this one. This one is a little bit more creamier, the same with the other palettes that I already tried. 
So this one, it feels like a little bit more sandy. It is a different formula, but it's still, guys, it is so stunning. It did grip a little bit more with the finger, but we're not doing that. I'm not working with my fingers. I'm gonna be wetting my brush. My blending brush, I'm gonna be grabbing a little bit more of this shade. And let me intensify that shade right here, my out of V. Going on top of the shimmer shade a little tiny bit. And then now with my flat defender from Sonia G, I'm going into this brown, and I'm gonna be popping that brown in my lower lash. My flat defender from Sonia G, I'm gonna grab a little bit of this one, and I'm gonna place it on top of the matte on my lower lash. I like the combination of those two shades together, guys. Don't do so much blending so you don't get no fallout, which they really don't have no fallout, but I'm just saying, just in case. My inner corner brush from Sigma, this shade right here is the one that I'm gonna use for my inner corner. And boom. Okay guys, so this is the look that I create using chocolate. And that looks so exotic, guys. Hello. Look at that. So right here I have the swatches for both of these babies so you can see them together and do your homework, your own comparisons. And as you can see guys, they are different. This one right here, it is chocolate, and this one is praline. All oh, this one from chocolate, they're more coppery, more reddish, orangey, rose gold. This ones are more champagne, more browns, for sure. So it is time for my raw, honest, no BS of final thoughts. Playing with the first two, I was like, hello. This is my favorite two out of the four. I love them, and that's it. And then after me playing with this two, I catch myself saying the same thing. That means I like them all, guys. These four babies, they really want my heart. They're beautiful, guys. The pigmentation is right on point. The shimmers, they don't have no fallout. Same thing with the mattes. The mattes are so creamy. I love how they look on the eyes. Each one of these babies it gave me totally different vibes, totally different looks. I love the reflection, the metallic, the eyes are really look that they're just popping out. If you are gonna pick them up individually, I would suggest to just go with the color story that you like the most. Chocolate, it is a really coppery. As you can see, everything right here, it is coppery. If you go with Perline, you have warm browns, you have mustardy browns, champagnes. If you like more pinky shades, you have a framboise or if you like lilacs, here it is a lilacs. It's more purples, more cool tones. There is a color story here for everybody, guys. I'm wondering what do I have on my lips? I have a combination of this baby from Chantacao. This is on the shade Tamarine. It's a brown, and I top it off with the shade from Pamagraph on the shade Dreamscape. Some swatches in natural lighting so you can see the true color of them. Besides that, guys, I just think this is a really convenient. They're really little. They're good for traveling. Even if we're not traveling right now, we will one day. They are so little that if you put them in your makeup bag, they're not going to occupy no space face or if you have them individually same thing you can just throw them in there and i love the whole idea of the packaging being like this i am gonna keep mine on these little things i just think it's like more secure and besides that i love the whole flipping the thing because i think like this it is protecting the shadows way more than just having one you know open and shutting thing but all right babes i mean i can keep on and keep on and keep on when i like a product but i'm gonna shut up right here thank you again guys for another great video i love and enjoy it just make me happy to just be here interacting and just spending time with you guys i see you on the next one make sure you go down below and make sure you are subscribed 
If you're not, I hope you are considering subscribing now. Make sure you have your notification bell on so YouTube can notify you every time I upload a video, which I have so many videos and so many goodies that they've been coming out. I have all the new makeup. I'm a little bit backed up, but I'm trying my best to just let everything out as soon as I can. Thank you, guys.